explain what is IRPA. So robotic process automation has been used to automate mundane and complicated business processes. RPA uses software robots to automate the boring stuff done by humans such as data entry, transaction processing, web scrapping and so forth. So all the boring manual work. Now let me give an example. Get me all the tweets about US elections 2024 for presidential US elections. So as a human, you go to Twitter, you enter a hashtag and then you get all the tweets and you manually copy that. That's a boring task. Get me the list of employees who were promoted this year. So for that, you open an Excel file, get email IDs of those employees from Excel file, right? So there you are doing some clicks. You are copy pasting data from one place to another place or in a clipboard. That's a boring task. You see the in the diagram, this, this girl is crying because this is a repetitive boring task, which is currently being done manually by doing some clicks or dragging and dropping the data and then passing this data yeah, to the process. So there is a process and you see this step here, the one which is Excel step where she is going and opening an Excel manually. She's manually opening an Excel and in that Excel, she is doing this. Yeah, she is doing this. So this is a manual work. Yeah, all this manual work we want to take away. It's boring, redundant, mundane, yes, and error prone because humans are involved. Humans will fall sick. Humans will go for holiday. Humans will do mistake. They will do copy paste mistake, and there will be time taking. This will be dependency and time taking work. So these are tasks which are rigid, mundane, and error prone, and data entry tasks, and or maybe example go to SAP. Uh, system se 11 t code go to database table mara open the data uh, visualization enter the material catalog id enter the material group enter the material creation date and then extract the record then check the record where the maktl is hava and then open that record and extract the price material price and pricing condition it's a manual work yeah, manual task. You can automate that. You can assign this work to a robot. And that robot can do this work for us. That's where the robotic process automation RPA comes into picture. Yeah. Now, you can see the RPA example. So we have got this robot now in the second place. And what this robot does, it can do all the tasks for you. So it can do that repeated. So this Excel manual work is now replaced with, with this date uh, with this agent yeah this agent we call it as rpa agent robotic process automation agent which is a robot which is good in doing repetitive work so what it does it will go inside it will open a cp system a c11 open mara table search the data extract the data copy the data put it in a clipboard bring the data pass it to the process all that work it can do for you repetitive task yeah, repetitive task that is called robotic process automation now what also happening nowadays the world is evolved even further so now it become irpa intelligent robotic process automation. intelligent means now now you can use ai yeah ai ai means artificial intelligence so you can actually Let's say take that data. Let's say you got 10 material with that condition. Now out of this 10 material, there was a human earlier which was deciding which is the correct material for my use case. It was also a decision power which was with the human. So this decision power we want to give it to AI now. AI can take decision to choose correct material based on the large language model. Now that is not in scope of this training. In the future, I plan to start an AI training where we learn SAP AI Core, LLM, SAP RAG. So all these are planned for you in the future. It's a separate training altogether. So there we will see how can we use SAP AI service to take such decisions, final decisions if you want. It's mainly for decision making uh, where human's brain was needed along with automation. So our scope on the current training is limited to only automation through the agent. But in the level two, 
which is very advanced level where we also can evolve ai into this ai into this journey which we are not doing in the current training but in the future i will bring a separate course for that it's a separate learning altogether yeah so at least it will help you to cater to 98 or 95 percent scenarios in your company with rpa right now so now where is this agent where is this robot so this robot is currently not there in your laptop it has to be there in users workstation or into a sem into a a machine which runs 24 by 7 like a remote desktop so you have to install this agent in your computer to do this manual work which can open gui yeah go to mara and all that or open some tool open some excel file or create a gmail and write a gmail and send a gmail or read an email yeah for you from your gmail account so that is this robot can do for us so this agent is currently not there and now we need to understand what is this agent and how to set up that in our computer to be able to use with sap build so what is the overall design where does this whole thing happen so understand here this is your btp account yeah this is your end user like you and me developers so here in our computer we will have this desktop agent installed in our laptop and we will then have our client application like outlook sap gui or excel file all that is in my machine so this rpa agent robotic process agent which is a robot is have ability to interact with my computer applications in the background automatically to read write data all the boring work which i as a end user do manually will be done by this agent and this agent then can integrate with something called cloud factory cloud factory is an is basically a component in sap btp cloud foundry environment which has ability to interact with this agent instruct the agent what it needs to do and the agent does that task and give the data back to the cloud factory so we have to step number one install this agent step number two configure bind it with our cloud factory connect basically connect our agent with our sap btp account once it is connected to btp account then we need to also add this agent to our process yeah because it has to be secure because it's running in your local machine what if it reads your bank password and send it to somebody right so you don't want to take a risk there so what you want to do is uh, you want to also uh, restrict the access of this agent limited to only one particular environment so you have to put this agent registration in the environment so only that environment can have restricted access to your computer files and computer agent because it's very risky to have a software like this yeah now this agent can also read data from your erp system yeah some files or tables or anything that also it can do now the another part is let's say it read material data it read 10 material or let's say it read a pdf file a invoice was there in your laptop in inside your laptop folder it read a customer invoice in that customer pdf invoice there is a amount five thousand dollar three thousand two hundred dollar now that amount i want to extract from pdf so that's where we can use ai also so what it we can do we can use some ai service yeah sap ai service where we have document extraction service which where you can send this pdf document to this service and it can tell you okay this is the invoice amount Thank you.